Hello and welcome to our presentation. My name is Maraid. I'm an occupational therapist who works in Marion House in the South Lee Autism Services. Today we're going to talk about deep pressure activities that can help us to feel calm. In this presentation there are some ideas, information, pictures and videos. This presentation has 10 slides. There are three videos. Sensory calming activities. Some people find noise or touch irritating or distressing. This can make daily activities difficult because toothbrushing, dressing or hair washing doesn't feel good. Noisy environments can also be hard, like hand dryers, food processors or hoovers. When we are nervous or when we're worried, noise or touch can be even more upsetting. At the moment, life is different. We are staying at home because of the coronavirus. A change like this can sometimes make us feel worried. Today, we're going to look at activities that may help us to feel calm. Deep pressure activities can make our bodies feel calm. Heavy work in our muscles and joints can also make our bodies feel calm. And we have another presentation put together on heavy work activities that can be done at home. Doing these activities during the day can make our bodies feel good and help us to feel regulated. Some tips for mums and dads about calming activities. Avoid light touch and unexpected touch during deep pressure. Don't tickle, this can be irritating. Firm touch is more calming. Use visuals to support the activities. Visuals are a useful way to show us what is expected and to help us to focus. They help us to understand. They help us to know how to move our bodies during activities too. Follow your child's lead. If they aren't enjoying the activity, it won't be calming and it won't be regulating. Here are some ideas of deep pressure activities. Massaging our arms or hands. Squeezing our arms across our chests. There'll be a video of this later in the presentation. Rolling up in a blanket. There will also be a video of this in the presentation. Rolling on a therapy ball and getting deep pressure on our bodies. Make sure you roll in a safe place and with supervision or help from an adult as needed. Gentle helper squishes. This is when somebody puts their hands on your shoulders and pushes down gently. Playing with therapy or Play-Doh. If you don't have any at home, you can make some with ingredients that you might have in the press. The BBC Good Food website has a nice recipe with a step-by-step -step video for instructions. Having a quiet place to go to whenever you need to during the day can also be a nice way to feel calm. If you have a pop-up tent, you could use that. If not, don't worry. Use sheets, blankets or cushions to create a den. A bottom bunk might be a nice area too. Put things that you like in your quiet place. These could be things that you like to touch and feel like squishy toys or fidgets. You might like to put in things that you like to look at or things that you like to listen to. If there are smells that you really like, you could put these in too like some scented Play-Doh or a scented hand cream that you like the smell of. Everybody will have different things that they like to put in their own quiet place. Next up, there are three videos. There is deep pressure from the therapy ball, a blanket roll using deep pressure and some self squeezes as well. So we are going to do some deep pressure activities for home. We're going to use the therapy ball for this one. Um, but if you don't have a therapy ball, you could just do, use your hands for giving deep pressure. So my little person here is lying on their back. We're going to use the ball to give some deep pressure on the legs. Okay, we're going to check in all the time. Do you want more or stop? Stop. Stop. Okay, we move on to your arms. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So when your child is lying on their back, we avoid giving any deep pressure on their tummy or on their face or their head. Okay. We're going to move on to your other arm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And now we're going to roll over on 
into your tummy. Okay? I'm going to bring you back here into the middle of the mat. That's it. Arms out. Okay. And we're going to give some more deep pressure on the back of the body. Okay, do you want more? First stop. 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 Okay, we do your arms. No, I actually not. Actually, more. Okay. Can we do your arms? No. No? Okay. So I'm giving a moderate pressure through the ball, giving that depressure input, that calming input. Okay, so we're going to stop in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so this is another depressure activity for home. This is something called the hot dog roll or the burrito roll. Basically what we're doing is using a duvet or a mat or something like that to roll up and to give deep pressure. Okay, so my little person's head is off the top of the mat or off the top of the duvet so that we can check in all the time while we're doing the roll up. Okay, you ready? Okay, arms down. So we're gonna roll up quite tight. Okay, so we're trying to get that pressure from the roll. I'm gonna keep going here. Another roll. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now we're gonna use our hands to give some toppings and to give some deep pressure input, okay? So we're gonna put on some chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. And some ketchup. And some cheese. Cheese. And some sauce. Sauce. Tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. Loads of deep pressure. Squeezing on the tomato sauce. Pasta. Pasta. Okay. So two more toppings. Um, I would like ice cream. Ice cream. Yeah. And the last one, so. And um, pepperoni. Pepperoni. Okay. And then we do. And then we are gonna roll it. So ready and go. Let's roll, roll, roll. There you go. Okay. Okay. So another deep pressure activity for home is some gentle squeezes that you can do. So you can model this at home. So we're going to, first of all, we're going to squeeze the hands. So while we're squeezing, we're going to count to five and we're going to model some deep breathing. So in through the nose and out through the mouth. Okay, we want to a head squeeze. So we're going Okay, and then we're going to do a whole body squeeze. And we're breathing in through the nose. Okay. We hope you're keeping safe and well. We have other presentations and sensory calming activities for home that might help. You can find them on our blog. Thank you for listening.